Welcome to Inside Europe. We are back in the heart of the European Parliament in Strasbourg and joining me are two MEPs, Sander Lonez and Stephen Wolfe. Now, something which was picked up in the UK papers yesterday is comments made by, uh, made by the European Commissioner uh, Jean-Claude uh, Juncker, who called the European Parliament ridiculous and criticised uh, and show, uh, MEPs for showing a lack of respect when only 30 MEPs turned up uh, for a debate. Stephen, you were there. You were sitting at the back. What, what, why would Juncker, Juncker say that? What was, what was going on there? Because we just saw this, the sound bite and don't really know it was much Because deeper. it was only 9 o'clock in the morning and not 11 o'clock. <laughs> I think you're was probably it? right. I think he was just very frustrated right. that he had a speech to really give a huge amount of praise to the Maltese president who has done a lot of what Juncker has told him to do. I mean, he has been really one of the puppets of, of Juncker. He wanted to give him the praise, and there wasn't enough people there to give the claps. And he got frustrated. But what I loved, and what was really important, actually, was the president of the parliament putting him down. And that was a very important message to, to send to the commission. Well, um, and that message being? The message is, you've come to our place, and you can't insult us. Sander, is that, is, do, you, do you agree that it was that important that there was an, an intervention on, on your... Do you, do you think his comments were a bit... No, I, I agree that that was important. Oh, we had uh, uh, Minister Juncker in our ECR group meeting the night before. Eh? He got some strong uh, criticism on Europe and on the European Commission, so I think he, he didn't sleep that well. Uh, <laughs> perhaps that, that was uh, a bit lingering on in his speech on, on the, the morning after. They said, let us be honest, Oh, uh, you were there in the plenary because you had speaking time. That's eh? right. If, uh, as, if an MEP is in that meeting, which was more a ceremonial meeting, without voting session, uh, uh, without a speaking time, it means you're not a good MEP. Uh, if you don't have anything better to do than being in that meeting at that time without having the chance to speak, I don't think you're a good politician. Uh, all, all other politicians here in this building are having meetings, are, are uh, looking together with other politicians to, to look for compromises on, on legislation and so on and so on. Uh, so you, there are better things to do. This sets. Uh, is it, uh, can we explain it to the people that only uh, a couple of dozen uh, MEPs are in the plenary room? No, you can't. Eh? No, you can't explain that to people. It's because this parliament isn't a real parliament. Eh? We don't have real debates as you have them in the House of Commons, yeah. as we have them in our, in our parliament as well. We only recently right. introduced here in this parliament actual, uh, debates on, the, on uh, actual things, on, on the recent things just happening. Uh, so this, uh, this is only a new evolution in this house, uh, whereas it's something that is normal in every normal parliament. And so his comments, yeah. therefore, you, you would see as, as a bit you know, unnecessary, excessively hostile, almost sort of borderline on a tantrum, uh, you know. Uh, but let, let, us, let us take them in a positive way as an encouragement to, to reform also the working here of this European Parliament to make sure that we have real debates on the real issues that concern real people. We've had and more only... debate here than we get the opportunity to Absolutely. debate in that Parliament. The European Parliament is stronger in limiting speaking time than organising the debates. There we go. That's what Inside Europe is about, a bit of debate. Uh, Sander and Stephen, thank you very much for coming on today.